<laughs> Welcome to the Bullish Money YouTube channel. Let's hit up the economic issues because we haven't talked about that in, in quite some time. And uh, one of the things I really want to talk about, I know that the, uh, the markets have been extremely volatile this year. And again, this is something that I've been uh, warning about, in fact, screaming about uh, in my past videos. And now this reality is starting to uh, hit the pavement. And uh, of course, on uh, Thursday, Friday, we've had a, a pr you know, fairly robust swing up as sort of a technical uh, reactionary movement uh, to the underlying uh, volatility uh, that has affected the broad markets. But one name in particular has not uh, gone up with the rest of the markets in this uh, near-term recovery, and that name is American Express. And you guys know that them as the credit card company that uh, specifically caters towards more of the higher-end clientele. They have been absolutely pummeled. I believe they lost about 12% on of market valuation on Friday. And for the year, I believe they are down an astonishing 17%. Now, the, the, the traditional understanding, the, the traditional analysis of why they've lost so much uh, market capitalization is because of their uh, earnings performances. Uh, they've been running a, a string of very poor uh, earnings reports, but the last one, uh, the Q4 uh, FY 2015 report, was absolutely horrible. The um, the quarterly revenue, I think, is down about nine uh, percent or so. Uh, EPS earnings per share, that's down, I think, 35, 36 uh, percent quarter over quarter. So uh, we're we're talking about very serious losses for the year. Uh, I think the top line uh, sales down, uh, you know six, seven, eight percent. I, I forget what, whatever the number was. It was horrible. And the, and the forward guidance for the 2016-2017 earnings season is very pensive according to uh, American Express's uh, uh, chairman and uh, uh, chief executive officer. So very pensive um, attitude during that conference call. I think the management realizes they're in trouble. I mean, they've uh, already announced yet another round of layoffs in addition to the several rounds of layoffs that they've had in, in the recent past. So this is not really looking good. And the reality is that the consumer, the consumer sentiment is just not that healthy. I know that nominally the, the jobs report has been you know, pouring in and they've been showing an increase on a, on a pure uh, nominal basis. But the wage growth is simply not there. And the substantive opportunities that really drive the economy forward, they're not there. We're not leaders in manufacturing. We're not leaders in innovation. We're just kind of, you know, uh, the quality of our economy, the quality, if you will, of our earnings performances, broadly speaking, is very poor because we're progressing by cutting. And I want you to notice that we are progressing by cutting, cutting people, cutting expenses, uh, you know, cutting investments. Because of that cutting, our profitability looks impressive. Looks like we're making progress on profitability. But on a, on a substantive scale, we're not making actual forward progress here. We're not driving our top line sales. I mean, uh, you can't grow top line sales in this in this uh, in this global market cycle because everywhere else you look, the 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 economies, the global economies are decelerating. They're slowing down. They're trimming themselves. If everybody else is trimming, the U.S. even though they're the leader in uh, the global economic ranking, they also will be forced to trim. I mean, who are you going to sell to if there are no buyers? And so the quality of earnings is uh, not only affecting American Express, but it is reflective of the, the dilemma, this crisis that the US economy, the global economies are facing. And that's why not only is American Express shares going down, but that's why uh, January has been off to a very poor start. In fact, the worst start in, in, in market history in terms of a two week opening performance. And don't be fooled, don't be fooled. Uh, this is really the, the underlying message is don't be fooled by the, the recent robust uh, recovery. It's not really a, a recovery. You know, two, two days of, of modest gains 
doesn't mean that the market has recovered. You still want to be vigilant. Now, sure, of course, you know, Monday, Tuesday, you know, who knows what can happen. I'm not saying that, I'm not trying to uh, forecast a, a picture for you guys over uh, such a near-term framework. What I am trying to say is be vigilant, be careful. Look at the fundamental basis of where these uh, these markets are going, how these markets are trading. Fundamentally, it's it's rotten. There there is nothing sound about the reasons why the markets are are moving up in the near term, other than to say that it is a technical reactionary movement. I don't want people, regular hardworking Americans, to buy into such reactionary movements because. More often than not, these are head fakes. This is something that is fundamentally problematic within the financial markets, within the uh, underlying economy. And I just really want to uh, issue yet, yet again another cautionary note uh, for uh, American families, for uh, all investors. Just, just be careful, please.